Hi everyone, and welcome to another Doctor Who Classic Series figure review by me, Super Hamster. And today I'm reviewing the Caves of Androzani set. So, in this set, we have on the left Sharas Jack, which comes with an interchangeable head. And on the right, we have a fifth Doctor variant of Perry. So, also in this set, we have a destroyed android's head, which. I don't know why they've put that in, but I suppose it's a nice touch. So I'm going to start this review by looking at Perry. So move them out of the way and bring Perry forward. Here is a semi-new Perry figure. So this Perry figure is a fifth Doctor variant of Perry. Previously we've had we've had a sixth Doctor variant in the Perry and Seal set. So the head sculpt on this is brand new and the torso is as, uh, as well. And then we have the shorts, the legs and the heels which are the same as on the Perry and Seal version of Perry. So let's start by looking at the facial detail. So here is the new head sculpt which looks really nice. Uh, the resemblance to Perry is great. Um, the facial expression, well there isn't one, she's just looking normal. Then we've got partings in the hair along the front there. Looks really nice. And then on the side and the back, yet again we have partings in the hair. So pretty basic, but it's still really nice. It does look a lot like Perry. Uh, which one's better between this version of Perry and the Perry and Seal version of Perry? Um, I have to say this one. I think the face looks a lot better on this one and it looks more like Perry. So moving on now to the torso. So basically she has a pink tank top on and over the top of that she has a white creamy shirt with a checkered pattern on it. Uh, it's tied up into a knot as you can see around the waist. Um, the collar has been sculpted really really nicely. It's open and there's goes in and then out so that looks really nice. Uh, then we've got creases on the arms and the back is just a plain pattern with creases yet again. So that's quite nice. That is all brand new and now we get to the shorts uh, these are the same as the Perry and Seal shorts, except for they're painted pink this time. So, as you can see, we have the belt there, and then we have the little square in her pocket. So, we have some nice creases there to make it look more realistic, really nice. And then on the back, we have a pocket on the right there, and then creases on the shorts yet again. And then we have the basic high heels, which are just a whitey cream colour. So it is a pretty basic figure, but that's to be expected. Um, it's really nice though. So now I'll quickly show you the articulation on the figure. So the articulation standard, head 360. Then a 360 at the shoulders, 360 at the biceps. Uh, elbow articulation and 360 at the hands, 360 waist, and then she does the splits, 360 at the thighs, and then knee articulation. So, pretty standard, but all in all, it's a really, really nice figure. So, moving on now to the Shara's Jack figure, which is really the main figure in the pack. So, Shara's Jack is a completely new figure, new sculpt, new everything, never been seen before. So I'm going to start by showing you the face. Okay, so here is Shara's Jack's face. As you can see, the detail on it is really, really nice. Um, it's the black and white pattern there. Uh, I don't know whether you can see or not. Yes you can. There's a bit of black paint 
there on the white part of the face. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, but it doesn't matter too much. That's just quality control, I suppose. Um, then we've got nice stitching around the eye. Looks really great. And then stitching on the top of the head, along the side, and going down the back as well. So the mask is pretty basic, but as I said on the Perry figure, although it's basic, it's still really well done and is to be expected. So now the torso, which is brand new as well. So it is basically a black suit, as you can see. And he has a separate piece of clothing here going down. And then the belt as well is a separate piece of plastic. It isn't a part of the torso and being sculpted on. It is a separate piece and can be moved a little bit, as you can see. It's a, it's a piece of rubber, really. So, still very basic, but really well done with all the creases. Really nice. And the belt goes right the way around. And on the back as well, you can see where the belt is done up. There. And then some nice creasing still. Then we get to the hands here, so he has a black glove on his left hand and on his right hand he doesn't have, have a glove and then we've got the basic black boots and the black trousers but yet again some nice creasing to make it more look more realistic so that's very very nice so uh, quickly show you the articulation so the head there's a 360 um, now, just one thing that surprised me is, unlike the Perry figure, Sharas Jack has ball-jointed arms, or ball-jointed shoulders, I should say. So that's a nice touch, and we're seeing more and more classic series ball-jointed figures. So that's really nice. Um, then apart from that, the articulation standard, 360 shoulders, 360 bicep, um, elbow articulation, and 360 at the hands. Uh, 360 waist, then he does the splits, no thigh articulation, but there is knee articulation and boot articulation. Okay, so here is Sharas Jack with his interchangeable head on. So in the episode, the Caves of Androzani, for those who've seen it, so it's Peter Davison's last episode, um, Sharas Jack at one point removes his mask and he reveals to us the injuries he suffered in an accident previous. So, if we have a look here, it looks really, really nice. It's not completely screen accurate. Um, they've just basically put a lot of floppy skin on. Uh, they've given it a dark wash. And it looks really nice, but if you want a screen accurate figure, this isn't what you want, basically. But if you're not too bothered like me, I'm not too, too bothered. Because um, I don't even put this head on when he's on display anyway. I put that head on when he's on display. So, it's nice to have an interchangeable head. I wasn't expecting it, but it's very nice. So, that is about it, really, for this set. So... I think it's twenty four ninety nine or twenty six ninety nine. I can't remember from Forbidden Planet. So it is a little bit pricey. Um, the normal prices for these types of figures, for two figures, is around twenty two pounds. But even so, it's really nice. Um, also included is this Android head. So, this as well isn't completely accurate. The colours are wrong. I mean, we shouldn't have a brown colour with a white eye. It should be transparent. But, it doesn't matter too much. And then, at the end here, we have destroyed wires. So, it isn't an interchangeable head, which I thought it was in the beginning. So, all in all, it's a very good set. Um, I really like it. I'm ha I'm really happy with a fifth Doctor variant of Perry, and that's about it. Yeah. 
So thanks for watching, guys.